Ooh. Start again, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Come on. So we're playing F124, just on the updates, doing some time trials, playing on a G29 uh, with the pedals. Uh, I've got a custom wheel on the front, playing on a 4070 RTX, seeing what kind of time we can do. So game's up and running. We're going to hit the track now and I will share some hints and tips with you to uh, get you going. So yeah, we've got the green line, um, which is your racing line. Idea being it's the fastest way of getting around the course. Uh, around the course, around the circuit. So you stay to the left, coming into a corner, breaking in, into the inside, coming back out to the outside again. So the paddles, um, a bit like a Formula 1 car, we've got the paddles on the back. Left for downshift, right for upshift. Um, most commonly used, coming into a corner, downshifting down, engine braking, out of a corner, upshifting, until 7th or 8th gear. On the G29, I have got an extension to the wheel which is a custom bit of work. It's a 3D printed steering wheel from a guy in Greece. Um, MTP, I believe his name is absolutely fantastic. Mimics a, a Formula One wheel. Buttons, configuration, allows me to set my own, which is even better. With inside of the game, on a real Formula One steering wheel, as is I have on my G29, I have light indicators for changing gears. So if I, there you go. When that hits the red light, you over rev. It should be changing before you get to the red, realistically. And it's the same for downshifting as well. Yeah, so updates seem pretty good. I mean, to be fair, there was an integrity issue when we did it. Um, probably more of a steam issue than the game itself, but game performance-wise, it's pretty much the same. Looks like back-end work, mostly. Massive, hu huge Formula 1 fan. I've had these games now for for probably 10 years without fail and they just keep getting better and better and I think they probably always will to be fair. I will be on here until 2, 3 in the morning now. Where I am purely because I just want to be the next person in front of me. Of which I have just done there. But there is always somebody else to beat. And then of course the sun comes up and you realise you've wasted your life. So now Matt's shown us how it's done. As a complete novice, so I'm going to give it a go and see how I find it. Break in a minute, and now, uh, now, now, so, oh, 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 you've kept it, you've kept it. Go, 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 go. So I found that pretty difficult. Whew. So actually getting my hands a little bit sweaty. <laughs> really good fun, and maybe Matt will train me up a little bit more and I'll get a bit better on the next lap time. We also have a Quest 3 headset, so we're going to try and get that working on the game. F23... Uh, it's working perfectly fine, so we'll see if we can get it working with, with F124. We'll make a video next time and we'll see, we'll see what the results are like.